Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This morning, my husband and I are up early and out the house as we head into New York City to see the famous Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I went to the parade last year and I had such a great time that I convinced him to wake up at 5 a.m. for us to be out of the house by 6 a.m. with the aim of making it to Manhattan around 8 a.m. Instead of us driving directly into Manhattan, we decided to drive the car to Brooklyn and then to take the train to Manhattan, which really was convenient when it came to parking. Once in Manhattan, most of the streets were blocked off from 77th Street down to 34th Street. So we had some walking to do to get to a street that allowed us to view the parade, which was mainly on 6th Avenue. Before finding a good viewing spot, we stopped in Dunkin Donuts to get some coffee and hot chocolate. And then we made one more stop at Grand Central Terminal to use the restroom. From then on, we were on our way to viewing some marching bands, parade floats, and the main attractions, which are the huge balloon figures. You can only imagine how many people were out in Manhattan on this day to view the parade. There were people of all ages and from all over the world, and to be amongst everyone was exhilarating. During the parade, we saw giant balloons, such as the Boss Baby, we saw Red Titan from Ryan's World, Baby Shark, Bluey, Ada Twist, The Scientist, they had Macy's uh, blue and white stars. There was Smokey the Bear, Papa Smurf, Dino and Baby Dino by Sinclair Oil, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants and Gary, Astronaut Snoopy. Uh, they had Ronald McDonald. And I have to say, in my opinion, the best balloons 
was Stuart Dominion from Illumination because he had this little man that he was holding and the man's legs were like, it looked so realistic. A lot of people were like, oh my God, is that a man attached to him? Um, and then there was Stryker, which is a U.S. soccer star by Fox Sports. I thought that that balloon was amazing. And then the most detailed, I would have to say, was Goku from Dragon Ball. Also at this parade, we saw so many floats. We saw Toy House of Marvelous Milestones by New York Life, Blues Clues, One, Two, Three, Sesame Street, The Hottest Heart, which is the mascot of Puerto Rican rapper Bad Bunny, Super Size Slumber by Netflix, Kalahar Resorts and Conventions. It was the colossal wave of wonder. There was a float called the Future is STEM Stational by Olay, The Brick Changer by The Lego Group, Jeffrey Dazzling Dance Party by Toys R Us, Magic Meets the Sea by Disney Cruise Line, Big City Cheer by Spirit of America Productions, Celebration Gator by the Louisiana Office of Tourism, Everyone's Favorite Bake Shop by Intimates. Ronald McDonald was also on a float. Wonder Bread, The Wonder Shop, and I have to say my favorite was Birds of a Feather Stream Together by Peacock. And last and certainly not least, there were 12 bands from around the country and Mexico marching in the streets of New York City. There was Benedict College Marching Tiger Band of Distinction from Columbia, South Carolina, Bourbon County High School Marching Colonels from Paris, Kentucky, Carmel High School Marching Greyhounds from Carmel, Indiana, Clovis North Educational Center Bronco Band from Fresno, California, Delphine's Marching Band from Veracruz, Mexico, Macy's Great American Marching Band from Birdsboro, Pennsylvania, Tarpon Strings Outdoor Performance Ensemble from Tarpon Springs, Florida. It was the Queer Big Apple Corps from New York, the Pride of the Dakotas Marching Band from Brookings, and most certainly New York's finest, the NYPD Marching Band from New York. So she had a good time. I did too. I saw my boy. Time. I saw my boy Quest Love. Yes. <laughs> the Roots. The Roots is one of the best hip hop bands ever. In my opinion. One of the best hip hop bands. Come on, baby, walk 